There should be guys over there somewhere. Oh, they're up top. There they are. Oh, he didn't even see me. Didn't even see me. See ya. I've seen you. Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and this is Infamous First Light. It's a standalone game, it's like a pre sequel to Infamous Second Son, where in this game, instead of playing as Delson, you play as Fetch, which is the girl sitting on the right hand side of the screen right there. And I think it's mainly about her story of how she gained her powers and before she met Delson, you know, what her life was looking like. And there's a guy sitting next to her there. We kind of seen a glimpse of him in the main campaign. I won't give away too much in case. It, well, it is a spoiler, kind of. I won't say any more. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more about this guy. Okay, so we're just going to jump into this because there's not much to be said other than it's a pre sequel to Infamous Second Son. So we're going to play on Expert as well. Alright, seven years ago, a small group of humans called Conduits emerged, each with the ability to manipulate and even weaponize a unique form of matter. After a string of deadly incidents, the Department of Un Unified. Protection was created to hunt down and lock up conduits in a specially designed detention facility called Curden K Station. So when we first met Fetch in the main campaign, she was on her way to maybe this facility because she was in a um, a transport, a convoy, and it obviously broke out of it. So we wonder how she ends up in that, that state. This looks like the facility right here. The detention facility. I know it's upsetting. What you've been through is unimaginable. But I can't help you unless you open up. Miss Walker. Miss Walker. 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 Fetch! Please. Tell me what happened. Okay. My parents called me in when they found out I had powers. I was... dumbstruck. But my brother Brent, he always took care of me. He just grabbed my hand and we ran. Spent a few years living on the streets, staying out of sight, keeping on the move. We did some shitty things to make money, but that job we pulled before leaving Seattle? Worse than the rest of it combined. So that's Fetch's brother right there. <laughs> Come on, sis. It's just one more job. It's all loaded up. Let's just go. No, this one's the payday. Mm-hmm. How much? Enough to rent a decent place. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Enough for a short-tailed Burmese cat. Huh? Oh, slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough for a fresh start. We could use one. Shit, get out, get out! What? It's the cops. Right, you hide, hide. I'll distract them. No, wait. You do this job, we leave tonight. No one will be able to find us? Y yeah, as soon as... No. No. Do not use your powers. I'm not gonna kill anyone. Just... carry my weight. Fetch! Okay. Hey! You! Come over here. Look at me. Eyes up! Right here. Uh, is this really necessary? Okay, that's like a tutorial right here. I need, I need to um, change the controls to invert lock quickly. Vertical, inverted. Yeah. Ready to go. Let's go. Let's look at this guy. Officer Hall! Can't see. You're blinding me, mate. <laughs> Kid over here. Look and vision option. Yeah, I've just done that. Okay, that's fine. Am I moving? Does, does this guy want me over there? I didn't really hear what he said. I'm gonna walk over to this guy. See what he wants. If he's gonna take this torch on my face as well. A mohawk on this dock. If I search that boat of yours, am I gonna find him? Wait. You wanna see a trick? Oh shit. Press circle to run at light speed. See ya. Uh. So, um, Fetch, we all we know from the main campaign, has neon powers. Ben always push me to keep my powers secret. If anyone knew a conduit was in town, there'd be a manhunt. And it happened before. But that night, I wasn't worried. 
I'd use my powers to get the job done, then the two of us would take off. We'd be miles away before the DUP showed up. Evade the police. Okay. The cops were supposed to be lazy. So where am I going? I think Fetch's abilities as well. When you play as Neon with Delson in the main campaign, I think Fetch's are probably better because whenever you see her in the campaign, she always seems to be flying in the air and just like going way faster than Delson can. So it's interesting to see how the Neon powers are going to work with Fetch. Okay, this helicopter, how the hell do you lose this helicopter? I guess we can go on rooftops and um, try and... How's that gonna, really going to help though, is it? Okay, we can glide as well. Okay, we're kind of getting away, I think. Just keep going as the general direction. Come on, hiding spots, where are you hiding? What are these pink things? Should check these out. Okay, I don't know what that was. Actually, you know what? I think these pink things that you see on the mini-map, they're like speed boosts. I'm sure I read somewhere that that was a thing. Okay, am I hiding? Am I hiding? You said this will work. Are the pink things hiding spots? Am I confused? Okay, there's no cops in the area right now. I think we did it. Brent, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But as soon as you started to glow, the whole city went crazy. This is too dangerous. We need to leave now. The DUP is coming. I thought you wanted a fresh start. And you know I want that cat. Just tell me what the job is so I can do it. Huh. Fine, just be fast. It's the penthouse at Third and Stone. Break in, grab the red duffel bag. Okay. What's in the bag? You get it? And we're leaving with a literal boatload of cash. <laughs> I like the sound of that. We'll get out of Dodge, bro. You're always one step ahead of him. Just be fast. The thought of you in a DUP prison, I couldn't live with myself. Okay, so those pink blips, I think they are just neon lights that you can um, grab onto to regenerate your power, your neon power when you start using it. Because I'm not actually spending any neon right now because this is a free thing to do in sprinting. It's only when you shoot projectiles that you spend your neon capacity. And um, so it looks like Fetch and her brother Brent are actually using her powers to just steal pretty much. They're not using it for any superhero powers or... I think most conduits in this universe kind of like are seen as as terrorists, but good because they're called bioterrorists, I think, in the main campaign. So, if you've got powers, you're obviously using them for bad and not helping anyone with it. Most people that have these powers are pretty selfish. So we got our waypoint up here, the F on the minimap. We're going to go on top of this building and make our way inside this apartment right here and find a duffel bag full of cash. Looks like. So we can run up this wall, probably get up the top of here. Here we go. Let's enter the apartment. <sighs> Locked. Use neon bolt to open the apartment door. Let's shoot this then. Knock, knock. Oh shit. Nice. Oh god, did I kill that guy? That wasn't me, was it? What? Oh shit. It's a drug deal, isn't it? No witnesses. Whoa, this seems like really powerful. Boom, boom, boom. Holy shit. Like, can I melee? I can. Let's melee this guy. Whoa, combos. This guy, this girl does combos way better than Delson did. Oh, that was terrible shooting. Let's just combo this guy. <laughs> Whoa. So, I think in the bottom left right there, that's my capacity in my neon power. You see, it's quite low. Where's that duffel? Right. Was it a red duffel bag? Or am I imagining things? It is on the, there we go, on the table. The bed, even. Hmm. What's in here? Coke! Oh god! It's not Coke, it's C4. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Gotta charge up. Gonna need it.
I like the way um, Fetch controls and just the animations on the way she moves is a lot different to Delson. You can see that you've actually put a lot of effort into this. It's not just a scratch off, you know, DLC. It's a, it's its own thing in a way. Okay. Fetch, you okay? Were you in that? What happened? The place was full of Russians dancing around a bomb. Shit, the occurrence. They found him. Found who? My boss. If they knew about the penthouse, then they'll know about our boat. We gotta go now. Fine, warm up the engine. I'll be right there. I'm sorry about all this. I really wanted to get you that Burmese cat. I know. Next time. So I going on about this bloody cat? We're getting shot at here. Um. So, in the main campaign, you kind of this is kind of like in a way, like the Left Behind DLC was for The Last of Us. You know, it's you know what's happened by the end of um, before you even play it, but it's showing you how it happened. Patch, stay away from the boat. The currents are just outside. They got guns. What? I'll be right there. No, you have one of your panic attacks near these guys. They'll freaking take you. I'm keeping it together just fine. I got you. Now hang up and hide, dummy. Oh shit, the police are after us. So it looks like as well actually, um, the DUP are not in the game at this point because they're not overrun by conduits just yet. It's actually just police. In the main campaign, the whole city is just owned by DUP, which is the um, the government's like super army. It's just general cops in this area now. So this is probably close to when conduits were... This is the first conduit, I guess, in the city. Holy shit. Brent! Brent! Hello? Brent. Where's he gone? <laughs> Was he in that boat? Come on, dummy. Where are you? Oh, shit. No. Nice socks. You. Whenever I'd start to freak out, I'd focus on Brent. It was the only thing that calmed me down. I clung to a good memory. First night in Seattle, we found this overpass and got out of the rain. Ended up reading comics by flashlight until we fell asleep. Later, this guy snuck in and tried to steal what little we had. And I was about to make him pay for it. But that night, we established the rules. Rule number one, no powers, no matter what. We might lose some gear, but Brent didn't want us to lose us. I shouldn't have used my powers. It was my fault he was gone. It was my... I lost it. Oh, poor guy. He's just checking out what the explosion was. Okay, so she's in the facility right here. Breaks from reality changed me. I'd wake up with new powers. It was like my body decided to fight, but my mind just gave up. You've been very forthcoming, Miss Walker. How about a break? You can show me the skill you acquired from your mental snap. I thought you wanted to get control of your powers. It's Anne Robinson. That's what we're here for. I don't know. Last time I used them. We'll start with something simple. I'll be watching your progress from up there. Please don't try anything stupid. stupid. All I do is stupid. No, Miss Walker. You're a survivor. <laughs> it's an unusual bench. Everyone has a weakness. You just have to look for it. Okay, L1. Why are they teaching me how to fight? So use them to just, that's the weak points are their shins. They got weak Achilles, and this guy's got a weak elbow. It's a start, 
But the world won't wait for you. Sometimes you need to act fast. Follow your instincts. Why are they all got different weak points? Is this like previous injuries to these guys? Like football injuries or something? I don't know. Arms, head, legs. But you just started. Perhaps you'd like more relatable targets. Impressive, aren't they? These hard light holograms look and feel real. Now, please kill them. I don't just mindlessly shoot things, okay? Oh, the conduit up here making those holograms, Eugene. He won't mind. What's the point? Oh, Eugene. The point is survival. Who's this guy? You, but for those who can't defend themselves. Go on, protect him. I think Eugene is in the main campaign. Is he okay? He lost 30 health. Collect him. Am I collecting people now? I see you still have some fight in you. Let's hope your other senses are still as sharp. The clock's ticking. Find and save the hostage. Locate enemies through walls by pressing L3. Oh, nice. Look at that. So, get weak points. This guy's in the hand. This guy in the head. He lost a bit of health there. Let's pick him up. You just run into him to pick him up, right? Yep. Well done. Now, I've hidden a second hostage somewhere nearby. But this time, you'll have to move quickly to save him or he'll die. Horribly. Okay, he's this way. Is he up top? Where is he? There he is. So let's shoot this guy in the, in the back of the calf. I missed it, kind of, but I still got him. Okay, this guy's hiding around the corner. His weak point is leg. Suck it! Oh, this guy. This guy's alright. He only got shot like four times. <laughs> Wasn't the fastest time I've seen on that test. Shut up. Let's try something else. What are we trying next? You've completed a challenge. Press options to open the pause menu. Hello. The right panel shows a list of challenges available to you. Okay, press L2 to switch to the upgrade screen. Whoa, it's like talent points. Oh, they had that in the, the main game, didn't they? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so surprised. Completing challenges earns you skill points, which can be spent on powers and upgrades. So, it kind of wants us to spend it on this point, it looks like, right now. So, use L to scroll to photo jump. Yes. Press X to purchase it. What is it? If you jump while sprinting, you jump in the air. I think Delson could do that. Push yourself. How high can you jump? Whee! You've proven basic mastery. But are you tenacious, Miss Walker? When presented with a challenge, do you fight your way through? Or hide in a corner? On guard, Miss Walker. I've got to say load of hostages. Where are they? Which one is it? L3? Okay. Complete the guardian challenge by saving the hostages. Yes. I'm falling. You can't aim and shoot very well while falling. So save this guy. Run into him. So there's ten hostages in total. We've done three of them before we've done this. Who's this guy? Incoming wave. What? Okay, there's a yeah, thing up there. There's enemies up here. Oh, suck it. That was like a ground slam there, where you shoot from the air. This is mad training. Slow down, boy. Keep coming, don't they? There's one more hostage over here we got to save. So let's fly on over. Where is it? There it is. It's a good job the, um, the guys shooting hostages don't start shooting for a while. Can I pick it up now? No, I can't. His hand was behind him. I couldn't get a shot on it there. So we got him. Cool. There's five more left. Let's go up high. Alright, so we got these guys shooting us now. The area of the the neon shot is pretty big. You don't need to hit them directly. It's qu it's got quite a good spread on it. The hostage. You wouldn't like to see him die, would you? So let's pick this guy up. Nice. So this is where Augustine trains all their new conduits, it looks like, to use as a big army. Okay, so we've got a wave incoming. There's no hostage right here. They're below us. Come on, where are they? Let's just drop down here and shoot them. So, um, quite a few of the abilities that Fetch can use right here. 
she can use them fresh. She doesn't actually got to learn them. Like the slow motion aiming. That's a thing you learn. Have to, have to learn. Like a later stage playing this Delson. Better hurry. This new hostage. Oh god. That was a mistake. Shoot. Why can't I shoot? I'm just going to melee them. I think I was like stunned or something there. Did the hostage die? I think the hostage died. I got stunned though. Ah, oh, god, guy, come on. Just die. I lost the hostage. I can't believe it. I wanted to perfect that. That's annoying. So slam on this guy. Boom. Punch him in the face a bunch. Whoa. Big finish punch there. Shoot that guy in the hand. It's not really showing me where the enemies are now. On the mini map. That hostage got destroyed there. I think it was four of them shooting him. So the hostage incoming. It's over there, up high. Let's shoot from up here. If we can't, headshots these guys. Nice. Let's jump across. Fly on over. Nice. Incoming wave. Inside here. Nice. Right next to me. Wreck them guys. <laughs> there should be guys over there somewhere. Are they up top? There they are. Oh, he didn't even see me. Didn't even see me. See ya. I seen you. Right. Is there any more? Incoming hostage. Crap, he's all the way down there. Fly over. Make it. Yes. Let's drop down and then shoot this guy. Because I don't like shooting while I'm falling. Nice. Safe. So, I wonder if it will let me get 10 or because I lost that one guy it'll just go to 9. Holy shit. I don't know if I got to the right somewhere. There he is. Incoming hostage. Over this way. Where are you? Are you in the ground? Yes, you are. Let's get these guys. I missed him. Whoa, that guy's got machine gun. He does a lot of damage to that hostage. Normally, they just have a pistol. So there's some guys over here. At the inside. I think they're up top. Let's quickly check on top. Yep, there you go. Shoot the guy on the leg. Shoot the guy on the leg. So I'm thinking that once we finish this training course, we're probably going to end up escaping. Because I don't think the whole game's played within this um, this DUP facility. I think I know that Fetch escapes at some point. It's just how she does it. I don't know how. Incoming hostage. Shit. Okay, so we're going to kill this guy quickly and then jump to the hostage. Hostage is down there. Jump across. Let's shoot these guys from up top. Got that guy, nice. Get this guy, nice. Drop down, get the hostage. We still got like the previous wave on us as well, so we've got all the all the hostages needed. We got ten of them. Are we done? Was an acceptable performance on the hostage exercise. Whew. Score, you know. Other conduit achievements are posted to irritate and inspire you. I'm always open to more training. Perhaps you'd like to surpass them. Yeah, whatever. Just make me stronger so I can come back at you and destroy you. If you have unlocked the Alpha Arena rescue mission, press options to pause. Open the pause menu. What have we got here? Right, before we actually look into this, guys, I'm going to end it here and we'll jump straight into this in the next part. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye-bye.